Helene officially became a hurricane this morning, and it's all meteorologists are going to be talking about over the next 24 to 48 hours. But what exactly makes hurricanes so strong, and how do they form? Well, when you're talking about the formation of a hurricane, first we have to speak about the ingredients, and hurricanes have a specific list of ingredients required for their formation. The first of it being that water temperatures must be of at least 80 degrees or higher. Uh, the warm water gives that storm a lot of energy, which allows it to strengthen more and more, and then you also have light upper level winds and a moist air mass. Now, once you have all of that in place, then you need a complex of showers and thunderstorms. And here is how that leads to a hurricane. So rising air causes the storms and clouds to form. That rising air removes air from the surface, which creates an area of low pressure. That area of low pressure then begins to spin counterclockwise because that's what happens in our atmosphere. And that gives the storm the familiar swirl that you often see on satellite imagery. Now, the scariest thing about hurricanes is that they can actually strengthen themselves. And here is how that happens. Rising air leads to clouds. The clouds and the showers and the thunderstorms lower the pressure at the surface. The clouds and the showers and thunderstorms also produce energy themselves, which leads to more rising air, which lowers the pressure of the storm, which strengthens the storm. That eventually leads to more showers and thunderstorms, which provide more energy. And you can see where this is going. It leads to a positive feedback loop, which allows the storm to continue to strengthen itself. And that's exactly what's going to be happening in the Gulf of Mexico. We'll continue to track this storm for you here in the Storm Team 27 Weather Center. You can check out my story about this at WKBN.com. With 27 First News, I'm meteorologist Adam Clayton.